In this Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a shadow in Canva. This is a really useful effect and it can make your photos pop off of a background. So I'm going to show you how to do this effect in Canva really quickly and really easily. So on whatever blank canvas that you have, you're going to select a photo. So once you have a photo in here, you are going to be able to edit that photo. So you'll just go up to, once you've selected the photo, you'll go up to edit image, click on that. Then over here, you will see the options for your photo. It'll show you the recently used ones. So of course I have shadows in my recently used because I use it a lot. You can also search here and type in shadow or you can scroll down to down, the bottom down here where it says shadows and you can select the one you want. You can click through the options or you can click see all and check out all the different shadows. So these are the shadow options that you have. This really works best when you have a outline or a background free image. So let's do that first. So let's just remove the background here. So I'm just going to do the background remover really quickly here on Canva and then click apply so that we have it applied. So it's just the image with no background. This will show you how the shadows work. So you scroll down again to see all and you can just go through the shadow options and see what works best. So this is the glow and this is how you get a white outline. If you are ever doing that on YouTube, you just add the transparency, you create it a little higher then the size can be adjusted and the blur level can go up or down. So that's how you outline someone. And that's a really useful shadow effect. Then you have the drop shadow, which is actually the best thing that Canva has going for it. Honestly, being able to add a drop shadow by just clicking this button is so amazing then you can also adjust it so you can adjust the offset. So if you want it really a lot more offset, you can do that. You can also select the angle so you can change kind of like what angle it looks like by sliding along this one. And you can also adjust the transparency. So you can make it a lot darker of a drop shadow or make it super transparent. So barely there. Then you can also adjust the blur, which you can do on all of these shadows. So you can make it really, really blurred out and gentle or make it a lot more harsh. You can also adjust the color so you can pick any color you want. Although black, of course, is the most common for a drop shadow. Then you can also appear if you want to just choose which direction it is. You can do a drop shadow at the top. You can do it bottom right like we had. You can do it bottom left. So on the other side, there's a lot of different options here to choose from. So let's go back to bottom right and we'll just apply that. So then it is applied to our image. So this is our new image with the drop shadow. If we don't like that, we can undo it, of course. Okay, so now let's look at the other shadow options. So we'll go back to shadows and see all. Drop shadow, of course, is my favorite. I also use glow a lot in my YouTube thumbnails, but there are other ones such as the angle. So you can do one with the angle. And with any of these, once you've selected it, you can just click it again and it gives you the slider so you can adjust it. So this gives you all of the control to make the shadow look how you want. This is the curved shadow, so that's how that looks. This is the page lift, which can be really useful when you're doing products and things like that. Um, then the last one is backdrop. So this is again, a good one for products if you're using products. So let's look for a product. Um, let's look for a book. So you can see this image we selected of books is not super natural because it is just books and there's no background. So let's select it, select edit image, then search for shadow over here. And then we see shadows comes up so we can see all. And then to this, we are going to apply a backdrop. So we will have a backdrop like there is light casting onto these or we could do page lift. So it kind of looks like a light is coming from another way and the shadow is down here. Or we can always do a drop shadow, which is a again, the most natural for most things that you're going to put in there. Or we could do an angle. So the light is coming from this side, from the front, and then creating an angled shadow in the background. So you can really select any of them. And then that is kind of how that works. So that is how you create the shadow effect in Canva. It's really, really simple. And you have a lot of control without having to do much at all. You just click a couple buttons and move some sliders around. And you can create these realistic, nice looking shadows that add a lot to your image and to the design that you're creating. I hope this tutorial was helpful and helps you create on Canva more easily. I have a lot of other Canva tutorial videos on my channel. Definitely click through on this video to watch more of them.